Hello, it's Mitesh again here, the Cloud Solution Architect at LANet. Thank you for joining me for part three on our series of Azure Data Security. So in this episode, we'll look at um, data classification and masking. We'll talk a little bit about uh, what that is and I'll show you how it works. So in the first episodes, uh, we looked at network security. So we're looking at how we can secure our backend data sources in the cloud using uh, private endpoints. And then we also talked about network and authentication layers of the security model. In this episode, we'll talk about the next stage. So once you've authenticated and once you've got your network connectivity, how do you then um, classify your data? How do you know where your sensitive data is? How do you know who's looking at that data? And how do you protect um, against uh, people viewing confidential data that probably shouldn't? So we'll um, switch to our demo and look at that now. Okay, so this is our demo environment. Here's our SQL Server and there's our database. So if we click on the SQL Server, we'll see how we can enable this feature for classification, masking, and also threat detection. So if we look at that, and here's where we specify the storage account to save our logs, any alerting that we want to set up. The same for auditing, we can set up our auditing here. So make sure that's switched on. Again, these are cost features as well. So make, make sure it's uh, on, especially for production accounts, especially if they contain sensitive data. Okay, so let's look at our database. So any settings I apply here are gonna override the server ones. So just remember that as well. Um, so I could potentially log this to a different um, storage account or different log analytics instance and, and, and same for auditing and same, send different alerts, for, for example. Okay, so we have a database. So let's log into this database using one of our uh, a reader accounts. If I click on here, this account is a, an Azure AD account. Our data reader has only got read access to that um, database. So let's just click on the query editor and let's log in using our Azure AD account. So this account, again, has only got reader access, it's got select access, and it's um, only at this database level. It's not at the server level. So if we do, let's just do a Select start from customers, run that. And then we can see our actual data here. We've got first name, last name, and some potentially sensitive, this is all garbage by the way, this is just my test data. Okay, so we can actually see all the data there, even though it's just a reader account and that's fine. We may want to do that, we may not. So let's just go back to that um, classification now. So we don't know who's accessed this data at the moment. But what we can do, we can set up classifications for this um, data here. So if we click on that, look at the recommendations. It's already found six based on the naming. So it's taken uh, its first guess saying, OK, um, this looks like confidential, um, confidential GDPR. And we can also set up um, our own classifications as well. Um, we've got type and sensitivity label. Now let's accept these recommendations and click Save. And if we do want to set up our own classifications, I'll show you where to do that before we go too far. If we look at the security center and go to data and storage, look at SQL information protection. This is one way to get in anyway. Okay, and then we can see how we can create our own um, labels and classifications. Okay, so let's now go back to our reader account let's do another let's do another one go retrieve all that data okay we can see all that that's still good and then let's look at our auditing and let's look at our audit logs in here you can go directly through here if you want okay we can see some successful authentications from our database database reader account we can also look at the the dashboard that they've provided for us out of the box and from here, we can see um, the types of data that have been accessed, confidential, uh, the classification, sorry. And if we click into that, we have the sensitive data dashboard here as well. So we can see, okay, these types of classifications have been looked at. This is the, the service principal that accessed it. So that data reader account. This is the location it's come from. And these are the types of data that have been looked at. Okay, so let's look at the dynamic data masking and, and what that does. So let's look at into here, dynamic data masking. Okay, 
and let's click add a mask and we're looking at our customers table and uh, let's have a look at a column we may want to mask let's say our let's just say email address for now okay and what format do we want to use this we'll just use so we can tell it's an email address but we can't actually see the email address let's add that and let's save that let's add a, another mask as well so and let's let's uh, cover our last name up let's just use the default add that save that and now let's go back to our reader account and see what that looks like now okay so we can see now our reader cannot access our last names we can also not see our email addresses anymore and that we can control that for any non-administrative account so that's another good reason to use non-admin accounts to grant your applications and users as well okay and we can specify okay so users to be excluded so we could potentially um, add our D db reader account here if if this was a legitimate account that wants to use it okay and all our data's come back again so in this case we, we don't want that so let's save that and then how do we know um, who's been accessing our data as we mentioned we can have a look at the logs here that's generated by log analytics and then we can even look into these logs here uh, we probably want to open up in uh, log analytics and then we can open up this record here, for example. Um, and here we can see they've accessed a GDPR labeled column. We get the exact um, query above that they run, which is a select star. But that's that's how you test that. And what we can also do then is set up an, a, an alert. So we can follow the standard alert rules um, setup. And then we'd get an alert to say, okay, some, um, someone's been accessing your confidential data. And you may want to specify which accounts you already know are going to be accessing that. So in this case, we could say, okay, don't worry about this account because we know that's our application, for example. But anybody else who accesses this data, we want to know about it. We click done, we follow the wizard here, and then we'll get um, an alert through. And just to show you that we have actually just had one fire off and that is here we can see okay our alert was triggered the date and time the results it was this user uh, this database from this location uh, is access financial information and gdpr classified okay and we can see um, it looks like they've done that twice okay so that's how you would know if anybody's been into your classified information very useful so that's um, how the data classification and masking works and what it looks like. And we looked at how we can classify uh, data, show different data information types, as well as how we audit that information and set up alerts. Um, so we can use data classification for um, use our own classifications or use the, the recommended ones from Microsoft. And we can use data masking to hide personally identifiable information from accounts that do not require that information so maybe reporting accounts or or other and we can control access to for non-admin accounts so again remember not to um, give applications or users at uh, sql server level admin accounts if they don't need it monitoring and alerting so we looked at log analytics and how that can be used to store our logs audit logs and then how we can also view those logs and set up alerts if you view the um, the blog post as well that comes with this video, we've got some scripts on there on, on setting the um, uh, non-admin reader account from an Azure AD account, as well as uh, the scripts for um, log analytics search query. So that's it from, from me for now. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, drop us a note. Let us know if you, what you thought of the series or the video, whether you like it or whether you liked it or not even. Um, any questions yet? leave a message or drop us an email, contact us by our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That'll be awesome. Thank you very much again for watching.